And here we are, another episode of We're Here to Help. Jake, once again, looking awesome in that Green Bay Packer hat. That's I'm going to awesome. tell you, it's easier to wear after no, watching nope, the Lions and Packers nope, game nope. and seeing Jordan Love be no, who we in Chicago I think, think he is. I don't think you're allowed to do that Dennis with the hat Green on. Stop. Set, Where are you pulling Dennis. this from? Do you have a script they in front of you? They are who we thought they are. And who were they talking the about? Hook. They were talking about the Bears. Let them off the hook. talking about the Bears. We FYI. have a great episode today. We, we have really a special do. guest who is so hard funny. Yeah, we were lucky enough to have her on this episode, Kat Reitman, <laughs> um, who is awesome. Uh, I, if you want to follow Kat, I, she's a great follow. Follow her at WriteCatOU, so that's R-E-I-T-C-A-T-O-U. Um, but man, I she's I so expected good. greatness, but I think we were both like, what's so going too. on? Uh, she comes back again. We After it, we had her on again. She was just so... Funny. One thing I forgot to mention in the thing, you guys did that show Wedding Crashers together. Yeah, the real Wedding did, Crashers. The real Wedding Crashers. I think I know I auditioned for it and didn't get it. I think we auditioned together. Garrett. Yeah, I think we might have been there at the same time. Yeah, it was the punk. They were group. seeing it everybody. Was, yes, but yeah. no, we got close. I was in the callback. Oh yeah. They. I think you and I. I think there was like eight of us. It was not Ashton, but his partner. Yeah. No, it was. Um. I forget. Jason. Yes. 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 And they were pulling people up. And I remember it was you. I believe it was you. I think I remember her from it. Or I just remember watching her on TV then. Yeah. No, it was a really weird show. And it did not. Yeah. Uh, they didn't air all of them. But um, that's Hollywood. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no. It was one of the, I was like, I was like, my career's made. And then I was like, ah, oh, all right. Never mind. <laughs> um, but uh, then we have a second call that is uh, an interesting predicament. We probably don't need to get into it too much. It's some... Uh, Australian um, domicile issues. Yeah. And, You're uh, going to Australia soon, aren't you? Yes, I'll be touring Australia in November, GarethReynolds.com, and uh, I'll be all over. I'll be in all the major cities. Good call, Jake. Um, so, yeah, go there for tickets. But But that's not what this is about. This is about us helping the people, and we definitely do it on this episode. Enjoy the show. Hi there. Uh, thank Hi. you. Uh, well, hello. Uh, you <laughs> are on We're Here to Help. Uh, you've got Jake Johnson, uh, co-host. You've got Gareth Reynolds. And we have an extremely special guest joining us for your call. So you should be very excited. This? Okay, truly, one of my... Oh, this sounds bad, but maybe one of my oldest friends in the business ever... Uh, a friend of mine who I met on the forgettable show, The Real Wedding Crashers, <laughs> um, but she is unforgettable outside of that. You have the great Kat Reitman joining as well. So you've got Ooh, three lovely. heavy hitters with advice. Hi there. Um, so can we get uh, your name, unless you'd like to change it? We're offering a pseudonym. Mm. And can we just get your age, and then we'll get into how we can help you. Sure. Uh, so I'm going to use the name Sally. Because, uh, like Sally O'Malley, I'm 50 years old, okay. and I live in the great state of Western Massachusetts. Okay, love it. Uh, and Wait, Sally, the great state of Western Massachusetts. Yeah, Jake, yeah, let it go. we are. It's, wow. it's a whole other world out here. They, well, the state they is the whole, yeah, they, the whole. They, the the whole they, the state they, is Massachusetts. Pick up a paper, Jack. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. I'm excited to go to yeah. the big here, battle here. between Western and Eastern Massachusetts. Oh, what a fight! Don't what go there. Fight. Yeah. Not on this podcast. Don't go yeah. there. You know what? You're right, Cat. We're not political. We like it the West political. and the East side of Massachusetts. It's a Equally. civil war. <laughs> it's a um, civil war. <laughs> okay, Sally, fighting so for the lobster and the fucking tea. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Yeah. Never up surrender. <laughs> Uh, okay, Sally. So why don't you uh, why don't you tell us why you're calling today? All right. Well, um, I've been with my uh, now husband for about 22 years. We got wow, married congrats. 11 years ago. Thank you. Okay. We raised a pair of twins together. They're now out of school and going to work. Boys or girls? Um, it's very important. Two boys. Boys. As Ooh. Bert as Bert Kreischer would ask, uh, conjoined. <laughs> are they uh, fraternal or identical 
or connected. He literally <laughs> asked, we did his podcast and he goes, cause I have twins too, Sally. He goes, you guys got, you have twins? And I go, yeah. And he goes, are they conjoined? <laughs> oh my God, that's no. a great follow up. I'm going to use that. So you got twin, you got twin boys and they're fraternal or identical, Sally? They are fraternal. Okay. I also okay. have two adult daughters, but they're from a first marriage. Okay. Okay. Well, that still counts. Okay. Yeah. Still we, count. No, I don't count those. They don't, they don't exist. <laughs> Are um, they conjoined? <laughs> yeah, I mean, can we have them? No. Okay. Can we have them conjoined? Right. Is that what you ask, Gary? Yeah. I just I know a guy. He's the best. He's you the know. best. Um, uh, okay, so, Sally. Anyhow, keep going. So what's the problem, Sally? So it's not really a problem per se. Um, so when we first got married or got together as a couple, uh, my husband was a virgin. He's very shy oh. person very mm. introverted um he's fresh uh, out of the marine corps and mm. so here we are fast forward all these years later we've had uh, an incredible marriage we're very happy we love each other yada yada all that great stuff um and back then when we first got together i would routinely want to sort of say you know maybe we need to slow down you should go and experience the world I had all these experiences and you haven't. At the time, it wasn't something that was important to him. I love where this but is going, now, Sally. So do I. Yeah, keep going, so now, Sally. You know, keep, keep going, keep he's going, keep 41. going. But back then, I had even said to him, you know what? Listen, if we're going to do this thing and we're going to be in a committed relationship, I need you to know that at any point, if you feel the need to go out in the world, Try something different. Oh, you get a hall pass, right? Wow. Hall pass. Who did right. he bang <laughs> Sally? Ooh. Nobody. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, it was like we'd forgotten. Like I had forgotten about it, but clearly he hadn't. Um, so about a month ago, he, oh. you know, it came up. It came up. You, right? you brought it up you... or you brought it up? Well, see, that's the tricky part. It sort of accidentally came into my line of vision. So he had asked me to check something on his computer. This always starts this way, right? Here we you go. See something. By the way, that is your third in. intense here we go, Kat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm desperately yeah. waiting. I know, but you right? are really ready to get mad. You've Your catchphrase on this is, here we go, with here Captain go. Reitman. No. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pod within a pod. Yeah, here we go. Uh, all right, I'm so, dying for a spinoff. I'm dying for a yeah, spinoff. Yeah, here we go is the spinoff. <laughs> so go. Sally, how do you accidentally find it? Walk us through that. And what do you find? I just, no. so all I did was I uh, went to type in the search bar, right? He asked me, go on my computer, just hop in my email and just forward this thing. And I just like opened up the browser. You go to type into, you know, the bar put an address in and you know, it always comes up with like history or like mm -hmm. recent and it was very innocuous. It was something like how to remind your wife about a hall pass. And that was it. So <gasps> I, it's the only thing he's looked up for months. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> so, how do you approach him about it? Is this the kind of thing that you just casually were like, you know, do, do you admit that you found it? Yeah, good question. I did. I okay. did. We're very open, and you know, and I just said, hey, <laughs> uh, just you know, when I was sending you that thing, I happened to notice, and he got really embarrassed. Of course, he uh, did. It's really it's embarrassing, right? And yeah. I'm just like, listen, like if this is something that we want to do, he goes, okay, hold on a second. He's like, you offered that to me over 20 years ago. He's like, clearly that doesn't count. And now it's like a new thing. He's like, how does it make you feel? He's, He's backtracking. Like, He's backtracking. He, yeah. Hold on, Sally, like, Sally, Sally, you want. Sally, as a guy, yeah. I know his move. He doesn't Google it to say like, it's the last thing I was thinking about. We shouldn't he, even be thinking no. about it. Where is I, this coming from? Check my second Google search and is how to tell a wife that the hall pass she mentioned, I want nothing to do with. How did you leave the hall pass Google search? <laughs> That's not what he Googled. By the way, what can we call your husband, Sally? Let's give a, let's give a name. Oh, let's call him Jack. Jack and Sally. Yeah, my okay. question, and I believe more importantly, here we go, is do you think Jack <laughs> was curious about like, hey, I'm just trying to awaken... <laughs> 
you know, my Frank and beans, or is it, I saw someone, I connected mm, with someone mm. and I purely am interested in her being the hall pass. And does that worry you? Does that excite you? Where are you with it? Ooh, if it's that, that's dangerous. By the way, well, Kat, that was my first spit take of this podcast uh, yeah. we've ever done. Yeah. Here yeah. we go. I, on the yeah. computer. Yeah, it was a real here we go. Yeah. 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 yeah, that was a real here we go. <laughs> Kat, how are you already holding up merch for here we go with Kat Wright? <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> I think this kind of money plan. And I'm like, <laughs> here we go. And Kat Wright, here we go. Podcast Kat Wright. Right. We're here to help. My problem with the original podcast is they just didn't ramp it again. You know, they can ramp it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Sally. Jack, why did Jack bring it up? Do you think? Or did uh, he admit it? So, oh, yeah. Well, actually, so he owned it, right? So he was Respect. like, yeah, I did do that search. He's like, I was just looking, you know, he's like, we had that conversation a long time ago. He's like, we're going to do this. He's like, he's like, I think we should have a fair, like, talk to a therapist first and just make sure that we're both cool with what's going to, might happen. You know, and I, I kind of yeah. gauged his interest in it. Like, um, I can tell you his like interest a hundred percent. Sure. I said like on a scale of one to 10, like 10, where a are thousand. you? And he goes, thousand. <laughs> I, know, right? I mean, I mean nine? Like, well, nine. I mean, six. Like, if your feelings aren't like, hurt, a hundred thousand. He's at a nine. Yeah, he's like, I've had okay. He, he's moments of nine, but mo usually like a two, like that, that was his sort of. Response. Yeah, the that second after he, the second after he masturbates, the second it's done, he's at a two. <laughs> two. About an yeah. hour later, he's back to a nine. <laughs> Kat, you, you, nine. Catherine, you had a here we go. What, what was your here we go? You know I'm rampant. I can't stand that rampant. Um, Sally, I'm going to ask a very uh, intrusive question, and feel free to tell me to f right off. But oh, how's good. the sex? I mean, mm. I imagine you've been married Hot. a significant. Hot. It's good. Okay. Okay. Hot. You feel satisfied? We are you feel very satisfied? hot for each other still. Yeah. Respect. Yeah. He's, you, my husband's gorgeous. Like, and the, yeah. the marriage we is have, good. Everything else is mm -hmm. good too. Yeah. I'm going to jump in here, Sally. So you guys have brought up a hall pass, which takes us to right now. What is the question mm -hmm. for this podcast? What can mm. we help you with, Sally? I guess the question is how, number one, how can I convince my husband that I really am on board because he seems to have lots of reservations, which okay. is normal. Is he? Uh, Does he have two, reservations? I think so. I think okay. Jack seems yeah, shy enough. He doesn't want to ruin his love story. Doesn't want okay. trouble. Yeah. Okay. Part of okay. it to him was like, you know, he's like also on the other side of the same coin. How many people do you know can say that? He's yeah. like, we just love each other, you know? And he's like, because our marriage is good and because we have a good open communication, he feels that it's, you know, if we were ever going to do it, now's mm. a good time, right? The kids mm. have grown. We're both happy. Okay. Um, you know, and he extended the hall pass to me too, which is hilarious. He's like, you can oh, get wow. one too. Okay. So, so the, the number one thing is how to convince, wow. how to convince him that, that you're okay with it. And then yep. two, is there a second part to this of if you do go forward with it, who does he do it with? Back. Can I just pause? Yeah. I'm just going to pause because I have a feeling both of these very, pro you know, progressive, open minded, awesome guys are going to say absolutely convince him to do it and then find the person you want to bang. And my God, what a world. But my here we concern. Go. Here, here we, we go. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. By the way, she's smoking a Capri cigarette right now. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen up. Um, I just have just ashtrays everywhere. Everywhere. And books behind you that are so <laughs> dusty. Way, here we go. So dusty. Here we go is number so 10 dusty. on Spotify right now. Doing I don't so even understand. I'm coming for you. Yeah. We're just I'm recording this you. right now. So it's really <laughs> it's live. I've got six podcasts going at all times. It's all fucking live. <laughs> Wild. Um, I just can't wait to get off this so I can get onto another podcast and blast jazz. Um, <laughs> now listen to me. Listen to me, Sally. Sally, here's my concern. And I'm not going to pretend like a lot of very healthy marriages have had a moment where they discuss like, you know, I'm in this for the long haul. At one point, would you consider this? Here we go. Opening the marriage up, trying this, trying this. Here we go. Here we go. But my, what I always come back to, and you can call me closed off, is once you go and dip your foot in that water, 
Mm. What's to stop you from going, hey, whenever I got that itch, I just go do it again. Mm. And does that in any way, like, is, and I know you're being cool and you're being awesome and, and he's a virgin coming into this. So you're trying to like expose him and that's so open-minded and cool of you. But is there any part of you that wants to honor yourself for a sec? Ooh. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> and just yeah. think about does how this it would spoil the you. pond? Yeah. So Maybe. you're saying dipping your toe into this might spoil your beautiful pond that you've got with him? Is that mm -hmm. where you're going with this, Cap? I guess so. I mean, you, you keep saying how beautiful your connection with him is, that the sex is still fine. Yeah. This great relationship. Are you sure you want to mix that up? Is maybe Ooh. that's what I, you need? Maybe that's not. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that was my that's my big concern, right? I mean, that's what I shared with him almost immediately. You know, okay, we well, okay. on the one hand our we're all we're all great and everything's fine, you know, so why would you want to risk putting a wrinkle in that? I'm gonna go in a slightly different direction here than where Kat was going. And okay. I'm gonna go with here we go. This here we go. <laughs> My version is not a Capri cigarette. It's a cigar and like a whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> because guess what? Here we go. And I'm on the radio every fucking morning. Let me tell you what guys want here, Cat. By the way, we yes. have a spinoff, Cat, without Gareth. And it's the gal take Yeah, the guy I was going to stay. Yeah, yeah, I just exactly. got iced out. Here we go with got... Jake and Cat. No, with, is my, nickname is, my nickname is The Dog. Cats no. and dogs. What? Cats and dogs. And, cats and dogs. And I'm the rat. No, maybe, no. Come on, let me work. I don't, did you I, say you're I'm, the rat? Yeah, let no, me we work. Don't need a rat. No, this little is cats and dogs, my dear. Listen, you're embarrassing yourself a lot. A little bit of cheese. Not the, not rat, the, the rat, the rat, the rat doesn't get in there. Come on, Gross, come on. Dude. I really, I need this more than anyone. Stop it. <laughs> so Sally, here's where I'm gonna go with you. <laughs> This man, he's fallen in love. He seems to be a great husband. You seem to be a great wife and you guys seem to have a great thing. What I would be nervous about is because when he has sex with somebody else, he's going to go like, wow, that magical thing I do with Sally, I can do with others. Bang, bang, right. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah. right. And then, yeah. you know, you might get addicted to as, ra as Gara says is the cheese. Right. But uh -huh. there is a professional path because you cannot get addicted to paying somebody who you know doesn't like you, you know is not interested, but it is a professional service. Right. So I would go, if you're going to go down uh -huh. this road, do not meet a random woman where he's like, dude, we got coffee. She likes the same movies as me. Pass right. on that. Pass on that path. Right. You've heard from the cat. You've heard from the dog. It's time to hear rat. from the rat. rat. Yeah, 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 let yeah. me cheese it up and hope that my <laughs> neck doesn't get snapped by a contraption that outsmarted me here, Sally. Um, Shut this is, up, Garrett. Th hey, <laughs> dog, get out of here. Sorry, okay, sorry, rat sorry. time. Sorry, You're in the rat hole time. with the rat. We live in the walls, and Sally, pull up a mini stool because I got a matchbox I sleep in. Kevin, um, cut all the rat. Uh, oh, the, rat. Is, the rat, by the way, the rat right now on Spotify, 2,804. <laughs> so things are right. not good on the rat cast. Not working. Not good on the rat cast. Um, this rat. is what I would say. I think everything that, that has been said is true. Oh, but what a horrible, what a generic statement, Rat. After I'm all that setup, <laughs> it's so all much. true. What a rat. I just, <laughs> gonna, I just want to promote I just my want sponsor. cheese and I want to live wanna, in your filth. I want to promote I just, I just want to promote my sponsor. Um, I, obviously, if he is looking for this, he wants this, right? So right. I think to some extent. It's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's there. It's mm -hmm. going to fester. I think you kind of have to honor it to some extent. You seem to have a great attitude, not only yeah. about this, but just about all of this. You're very understanding. Are you He's, hitting on her? You know, the trying, rat's trying, trying to, He's to, trying to be liked so that his podcast so numbers I go higher. What I think you got to do. What I think you got to do is find a rat for yourself. No, um, <laughs> I think the way to do it is to, yeah, be included in the process. And I think to what Jake's saying, I definitely think you want to make this as detached as possible. Yep. And mm -hmm. so that's what I would do. Right. I would just go some professional. I don't think. And the, the good news is, I don't think anything like that to him is necessarily going to open up a Pandora's box, especially if you guys are being so healthy about it now. 
I think that mm -hmm. will just kind of give him a taste of what else is out there. You say you have a very sex, a uh, very healthy sex life and a very sexy health life. Um, so I think that it's going to be like just a good way for him to scratch that itch and not really worry about it from then on. So I think like I my honestly like to, my gut would be like, you know, I would I would feel more worried than you do. So I just think go the route where he can kind of just get it out of his head. And you can talk about it healthily, and he's not going to be able to form some attachment. So, so I, I think you do honor it, and I would just go the route that, that Jake is sort of pitching. The dog. Cat, uh, respond. I, I see you wanting to respond to the rat. Cats and rats. Go I ahead. think it's a, a look. First of all, you never trust a rat. Anyone knows that. You don't trust rats. <laughs> you kill them. Right. You kill them, you get them what? out of your house. Look, <laughs> I, I, I think this is a can of worms, mm. Sally. That's what I think. If you mm. were my close friend, and I feel like you are. Yeah, here we go. It. Don't get weird. Here we go in the worst way. <laughs> That's a different Keep process. Isn't it? People become Keep friends. Going. Going. <laughs> I, I, I think it's a can of worms. And I think that, I, like, everyone I know who's either opened their marriage to a threesome yeah, yeah. or, like, just this one time or the escort, for me, I feel like you're, there are so many ways of sexing up your sex life with your partner that doesn't open up this can of worms and I, I'm sure you've already explored it. And it sounds like you already, it sounds like this is going to happen. Like dog said, so I don't want to, I don't want to step on it. I would just, uh, I would just keep the communication lines open yeah. and uh, mm -hmm. you know. So Sally, you've heard kind of three options here. What do you think you're going to do? Uh, if we do go forward with this, it's definitely going to be with a professional, mm. but Kat mentioned something about, um, you know, bringing something home to spice it up. So maybe I'll just come up with some creative interludes for us and like, you know, just divert the attention away to something else. <laughs> like, Ooh. but I'm open to it. I mean, obviously we're invested in this story. So if yeah. you can keep us posted, mm -hmm. um, Please. you know, maybe we could do a follow up. I would say keep us posted right. if you go the third but if the yeah. the follow up is like we have even bonded more, then enjoy your life. <laughs> yeah, just wow. enjoy, enjoy your it and enjoy it. But if you guys they, go I'll a third, when there's an update, yeah, if there's a real <laughs> update, uh, we're very interested. And Sally, thank you so Jake, much for the call. Yeah, Jake wants an update if it's a ratings winner. Thanks, Sally, <laughs> and uh, thank and you. thank you, Cat, uh, for joining us and helping yeah, us. You, uh, remember, listen to Cat's new podcast. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Biz, biz,